accumulated uh, a couple of the Tarte holiday sets so I thought I would go ahead and haul them and swatch them and show them to you guys because I know there is quite a few different sets out there so um, maybe that'll give you a better idea of uh, which ones you want to get. I picked up the Ulta one, the Sephora one, and then I grabbed two um, two things off of the Tarte website as well so I'm going to go ahead and haul them and swatch them and show them to you guys. I think the motif for the whole brand's holiday is like sweet dreams and the majority of it comes in this lilac and um, gold purple type packaging like this. So this is the box for the Sephora one but all of them kind of mim mimic this uh, style so um, I won't show all of them to you guys. So the Sephora one is called the Tarte Sweet Dreams. It's the Bon Voyage Collector Set and Travel Bag. And this one comes with 20 full-size French-inspired Amazonian clay eyeshadows, um, full-size lip surgeons in lip tint in romantic, full-size lip surgeon lip gloss and visionary, deluxe size lights, camera lashes, forward one mascara, deluxe size cheek stain and mousse. Deluxe size maracuja oil, deluxe size smooth operator, Amazonian clay finishing powder, and then the limited edition um, travel bag. So that's everything that's in the set. So here is the kit. This is what the bag looks like. The zipper's got a little purple tassel on there that um, it kind of feels like leather, to be honest. As far as the quality of the bag, I would I would go with decent. It's a decent quality usable bag, I guess. Um, but if you used it every day for a while, I think it may start to fall apart. <laughs> And inside of the bag you've got a pocket up here that holds the eyeshadow palette and then down below you have got this piece here lifts out which I think this is what made it feel a little bit cheaper to me as a whole but pulling when I pulled the plastic piece out this here felt a little bit more quality to me with this out. <laughs> so here are the products right here. This is just the White Universal, the good old Maracuja Oil. I'll, I'll swatch the cheek stain and then the uh, lip products here, but this is just a deluxe size mascara, which I do quite like this mascara. It's, it's a pretty nice um, mascara there, so that is what that looks like. So the lip products, there's the Tarte Lip Surgeon's Lip Tint in the color Romantic, which is what I have on my lips right now. Um, I kind of have more of a purple eye, which is the eye palette that's in this same set. and. I mean, it, it goes together okay, but normally I'd wear something a little bit more pink since my eyes got a little bit more purple to them, which I kind of find that with all of Tarte's like lip surgeon stuff, they all run with a little bit of rose coral to them, like every single lip product. I, I wish they would do a little bit more pink blue tones in their lip stuff. <laughs> Just a little grip, because I feel like after a while, they all have the same tone to them. I don't know. Anyway, this is the one that's on my lips, and it is in the shade Romantic. It's a lip surgeon's lip tint. So that is what is on right here. I have it on with the NARS, uh, I have it on with the NARS Paloma Beach, no, Patong Beach Lip Liner, and they actually go together really nice. And then the other lip product is the Tarte Lip Surgeon's Lip Gloss in the shade Visionary. And, uh, this here smells, uh, it smells like vanilla. I wish the, the Lip Surgeon's pencils like this smelled the same as the, their new glosses because I much prefer this over the pepperminty, which this does have a pepperminty type um, smell to it. I don't feel that they taste though, so that's good, but peppermint can kind of be irritating on the skin. So I just wish that they wouldn't put it in there, but this here is, this smells a lot better. <laughs> and it is in the shade Visionary and smells like vanilla. So here's the Visionary Lip Gloss and here is the Romantic Lip Surgeons right there. I feel like the Lip Surgeons is glossy enough in itself to not have to top it with the gloss. I think it's pretty glossy. So here's the mini cheek stain that comes in there. It says T5 Super Fruit Complex and the shade is Muse. Uh, let's swatch this guy right here. That is what it looks like. So kind of a neutral, it's just a really neutral, slightly got a bit of pinky beige in there. But um, the cheek stains from Tarte, I think that they're... Uh, I think they're nice products, but I don't think that they... Oh, these are twist up. Hey, normally they got the push up from the bottom. Little bit of improvement in packaging on there. Cool. I dig that. Cool. It's a twist up. <laughs> the Tarte cheek stains are nice, but I think it depends on your skin tone and personal preference whether or not you will like the cheek stains. So um, typically I wear a powder foundation, so uh, cream over powder, and these ones do uh, kind of grab onto powder foundation a little bit, so you have to be a little bit more careful when you put them on the cheeks. So um, over uh, liquid it would go over nicely. So it just kind of depends there, but the shade is a really nice neutral shade there. And then here is the eyeshadow palette right here. There are 20 shades in there, which is nice. And I counted out the mattes, and there are um, a total of 12 mattes in here, which is pretty good. And then the shades that do have shimmer in them, um, the majority of the ones that have shimmer in them are, m are more subdued wearable shimmer, except for this shade down here. But um, overall, this is a really... Uh, 
a really neutral wearable palette which I find like all of Tarte products are kind of um they're never they're hard to kind of make over the top which makes them a little bit of a uh, um a foolproof really wearable type of um products is how I feel like you can't really go wrong with application of some of their products However, I don't find that anything is particularly unique in their shades. And when I used this palette today, it did feel consistent with um, other Tarte palettes that I have. So I feel like the, the quality of this palette is consistent with the rest of Tarte's palettes that I have in my collection. So that is good. And I do have, I like put this eye look on in seconds <laughs> today. I use these four mattes on the top right here. And then this shade right here, which is kind of a, a creamy shade with a little bit of glitter in it. And for as quick as I put it on, I think it turned out just kind of nice and smoky and hazy. So, And then too, there was a plastic sheet over the top of here that has the names of the shadows, which I always wish that Tarte would print the shadow names on their actual palette. And they don't, they just put it on the plastic. So I just glued the plastic sheet right here, which is kind of hard to see, but the names are on there to reference to. So let me get up close and swatch these for you. We'll go like this so I can do it in a series of fours. Here's the first row. Which is going to be hard to see, kind of. Do the second row. Do this third row here. This one. And this last one here. This shade here was a little bit powdery, but um, all in all, these swatch really nice. And the, another thing that I like about the Tarte shadows is they do build. I don't, I don't get a ton of patchiness or, or blending uh, and building problems with these. You can kind of build them up, but at the same time, everything in the palette is really, um, it's really wearable, I think. So re really nice palette here. I like it. So that's the larger set that um, Sephora is offering. And I also got the blush palette. It's called the Pin Up Girl Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush Palette. And it says $42 uh, on here. I also got this one at Sephora. And here is the packaging. Again, it's really pretty. It has got two uh, pretty fancy bobby pins on there that just, they just slide off like so. And then you just push this button. It says Tarte on it and it opens up and you got a pretty good size mirror in here. Again, it has got a plastic sheet with the names on it, which I wish they would just print them inside the palette so we can ditch these. <laughs> so there is the inside of the palette right there. It says on the box that these are brand new shades. So there's Breathless right here, which is a, it's described as a pinky beige. Embraced, which is a plummy rose. Whimsy, which is a light pink. Bashful, which is a rosy peach. And then the last one is Irreplaceable and it is a mauve rose, according to the, the descriptions on the box. So that is what they look like up close. So let's swatch these. So two pink ones, the, that first one is like a natural type of blush, I guess. Then we'll do these two here. So there are the swatches. Pretty blushes. I think that they're they're really pretty. <laughs> now I do have last year's here for you guys to compare to if you guys have last year's and were wondering about this one. So the top one is last year's blush palette and the bottom one is this year's blush palette. Which this year's blush palette has got much nicer packaging than uh, last year's which is kind of skinnier cardboard type. This is a little bit more substantial packaging, but again, it's a, it, it's a little bit more bulky as well. So there are those. 
These next two things I actually bought off of the Tarte website. This one here is called the Tarte Park Avenue Princess Sweet Dreams. Um, it says Tray Chic, Chic Park Avenue Princess Contour Palette is what it's called. So here is the packaging on that. And then inside of here, you've got a plastic, which fingerprints glow, right? <laughs> uh, packaging on there. And then inside you have got, again, another one of these plastic, I can't, these kind of drive me a little nuts. Like, I wish they would really, I said this like three times. Every time I showed a product, I've said this, but I print them inside the deal. These are ridiculous. <laughs> anyway, you have got a, what looks to be a full-size Park Avenue Princess uh, bronzer, and then you have a posh blush, and then a champagne gold uh, highlight slash blush, I suppose, depending on your skin tone. Me, it'll probably be a blush. The bronzer is 0.21 ounces. The highlighter is 0.105 ounces. The blush is 0.105 ounces. So that's how much product is inside of this one. This is what it looks like up close. Hopefully you guys can see those. So that's the Trey Chic Park Avenue Princess Contour Palette. And then these next ones here are so cute, <laughs> um, which I also got off the uh, Tarte website. They retail for $35. I'm not sure. I think these are on Sephora as well, if I can remember correctly. But it's the Chic to Cheek Deluxe Am Amazonian Clay Blush Set. And this is the box here. And then inside you have got four blushes and I'm I'm really happy that they decided to spice up the packaging a little bit on these this year because last year's they just were um, they didn't have a pretty little design on there but they all have got this really pretty design on here which is great I do wish that they would make these minis um, removable like their full-size ones as well I think that would be really handy but these ones aren't removable so so the way they describe the shades there's a more which is a rosy pink classic which is a candy pink Prim, which is a soft apricot pink, and Daydream, which is a plum nude. And it doesn't say that these are all brand new either. They could be, they could be not, I'm not 100% sure, but let's start swatching these. So here is Classic. This one is Prim. This next one is Amore. A really pretty pink there. And this last one here is Daydream, which is really pretty color. Looks like that. So those are the four swatched in the set right there. And I have got on this one right here today and it is in the shade uh, classic that's what's on my cheeks right there so again really sold me on the packaging with these i think it they're super super pretty now this last one is the ulta set it is called the tart away we go portable palette and collector set again same type of box packaging on there on the back it says well tart sweet dreams here's what's inside 16 french inspired amazonian clay eyeshadows four Amazonian clay 12 hour blushes, three deluxe maracuja lip glosses, one lights camera lashes mascara, and one portable collector's palette. That's what it says is on there. This one doesn't state that anything is um, exclusive new shades or anything, but the box on this is really, really gorgeous. This is what it looks like. It's, it's really pretty. Right there. And then it says away, away we go on the back there. So inside of this, you have got the little palette right there, and then the three Maracuja lip glosses and mascara. I'll swatch these and then the uh, little palettes here as well. Um, it comes with a little foam piece here. And then inside of here, there are four different palettes that you can remove and put into this here, which I quite like. This little this travel palette is nicer than last year's uh, palette. It looks, it's really cute. It's like a little Tiffany blue type of packaging there and you open it up and it, uh, the palettes inside of here magnetize in here so it's really travel friendly 
and then the palettes lift out like this. And what I like uh, about this one is on the back of, it comes with a sheet as well with the names on there, but they're also printed on the back of the palette, which I do like that they did that. So here's the first one. You have Irresistible Blush, Private Chateau, Cafe for Creme Brulee, Tea for Two, and Marvel at the Mona Lisa. Super cute names. Oh, whoa. I'm going to wipe those off. And then these other two. This blush is really pretty. Oh, I think that blush is gorgeous. So that's the first little palette. This next one you have Envisioned Blush, Macaroons for You, Champagne and Chocolat, Kisses Under the Arc, and Art in Montmartre. Hopefully I said that right. <laughs> Pretty light shades there. And these next two. Pretty blush. Oh, these blushes are really pretty. Here is the third one in the set. You have got Limitless Blush, uh, Champagne Lycée, Shopping, Stargazing on the Scene, Eiffel Tower Engagement, and Secret, Secret Soiree are the colors in there. Oh, those are pretty. Those are really pretty shadows. A lot of swatching going on here. <laughs> and here's the blush. It's like a peachy color. And here is the last one in there. This is Intrigue, Snow Angels in the Park, Navigating the Metro Midnight Stroll in Liaison at the Louvre. Oh, this is a really pretty one as well. These are swatching pretty consistent with Tarte as well. And then the blush here. Pretty. That is pretty. I almost wish I would have wore this one today. <laughs> and here are the three lip glosses that come in the set. Uh, again, really cute packaging. I'm glad that they decided to spice it up a little bit with the designs there. So I did swatch them. You have got Paris. Uh, Paris is this first one right here. Then you have Can, and then this one over here is called Nice. And those, these glosses have got some really good pigmentation. Um, the way that they swatch, they they could be sticky, but that's some pretty decent pigmentation. I think I really like the middle color there. So yeah, Paris, Can, and Nice, yes. So there is the Tarte Away We Go set. And then everything this here comes out and so does this. So everything's removable. So the box, if you want one to use this box later, because it is, it's really pretty. <laughs> yeah, you could, you know, remove everything. But uh, it's a cute little set, I think. These palettes are really nice. I think, I'm glad that the quality, like, um, the quality of the eyeshadow palette and the Sephora one and the quality of the shadows and the stuff in here, they all feel really consistent with Tarte's regular stuff. Like, so if you're familiar with Tarte's eyeshadows and stuff like that, I don't think you'll be disappointed if you wanted to add to um, your tart with more tart <laughs> because they feel really consistent so that is good so hopefully that was helpful for you guys um thank you for watching and do not forget to wear sunscreen and i'll see you guys later bye